Proverbs. Chapter 27. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The full soul loatheth an honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend, and thy father's friend, forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity, for better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. My son, be wise, and make my heart glad, that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Whosoever hideth her hideth the wind, and the ointment of his right hand, which boreth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As the fining pot for silver, and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not for ever, and doth the crown endure to every generation? The hay appeareth, and the tender grass showeth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maidens. Chapter 28. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land many are the princes thereof, but by a man of understanding and knowledge the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness, than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth alway, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion, and a ranging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit, let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good, for for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother, and saith, It is no transgression, the same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Chapter 29. He, 
that being often reproved hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. The king by judgment establisheth the land, but he that receiveth gifts overthroweth it. A man that flattereth his neighbor spreadeth a net for his feet. In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it until afterwards. If a ruler hearken to lies, all his servants are wicked. The poor and the deceitful man meet together, the Lord lighteneth both their eyes. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest, yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. A servant will not be corrected by words, for though he understand he will not answer. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become his son at the length. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso is partner with a thief hateth his own soul, he heareth cursing, and bewareth it not. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from the Lord. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Amen.